everybody, my name is Jennifer Rollins and I'm a physical therapist at Breakthrough Physical Therapy. I specialize in women's health, pelvic floor, and pregnancy, uh, during pregnancy and postpartum. Today we're going to talk about diastasis recti, which is a condition that affects many, many women postpartum. Um, it's something that we're uh, often not really in clue with to be able to test for ourselves. Um, so we're gonna talk about that today and exactly what it is. Now, as we're pregnant and our belly gets bigger and bigger, the abdominal muscles that surround our growing belly start to get more and more stretched out. This can result in diastasis recti postpartum. What happens is your classic six pack abs, these ones that run up and down here, gets stretched apart. We don't call it a split because the tissue between doesn't actually separate or anything. It just gets very, very, very stretched. And then after we deliver our baby, often it doesn't go straight back to how it's supposed to before. Now, a certain amount of diastasis is in some cases considered to be normal, but if it lasts beyond about three months postpartum, then it really should be taken care of because it's indicative of other abdominal muscles such as your transverse abdominis here of not being able to do the job well. So now that we know what diastasis is, how do we know if we actually have it? That's a very, very good question. And so today I'm going to show you how, can, how you can do a little self-test to see if it's something that you need to bring up with your practitioner. Uh, and then I'll give you one little exercise to perform at home so that you can kind of get your ball rolling. However, if you do have a diastasis that lasts beyond those three months, I highly recommend that you go and see your local physical therapist who specializes in women's health in order to get this taken care of a little bit more completely. If diastasis is not taken care of and these abdominal muscles are not functioning as well as they need to, often we can start seeing other symptoms occur such as low back pain because it means the abdominals are not supporting your spine in the way that they need to. We can also see urinary incontinence that continues well beyond that three months uh, postpartum. And uh, those kinds of things are often starting to be a little bit debilitating for people who have that diastasis. So that's why it is really important to get taken care of. So number one, when we get in and out of bed, we want to avoid stressing these tissues any more than they already are, okay? So when you go to lie down, first you're gonna sit down just like I am now, and then you're gonna roll, or you're gonna uh, come down onto your side as one unit, okay? And then you'll roll onto your back as such. This is the proper position in order to determine if you might have a diastasis recti, okay? So first you're gonna kind of feel around your belly button here, and then you're gonna do a little crunch up like so. If you have a diastasis, when you put, push in with your fingers, you will feel your fingers sink into your abdomen. Often you can even feel this uh, kind of like wall or delineation on either side where those abdominal muscles stop and are trying to work, but they just kind of can't get together. Again, if you have, if you do the self-test and you discover that you have a diastasis, please go and speak with your practitioner. That could be your uh, ob guide, or if you are already established at a physical therapy clinic, then I highly recommend that you head there too, okay? Now next what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, do one little exercise that I've demonstrated in previous videos before, but it's really just such a great little stepping stone in order to get these abdominal muscles starting to function a little bit better than they probably already are. All right, so this is going to be the position that you'll be in for this abdominal exercise. The muscle that we're trying to get is called transverse abdominis, and it is the deepest muscle layer of all of your abdominal muscles. It goes across your abdomen as such, okay? So we need to be able to find it and just see where it is. And so our goal today is just to be able to activate it without doing any kinds of movements or crunches or anything like that, okay? So first you wanna find this bony prominence right here. Then you're gonna come in just slightly until your fingers are on soft tissue. Make sure that you have at least one pillow between your legs when you're doing this exercise in order to keep your hips a little bit more in a neutral position. Once you have found that soft tissue here, envision that you are either drawing your belly button inward towards your spine, or if you've been pregnant before, you can imagine that you're pregnant again and you're trying to hug your baby inward towards your spine. Sometimes for a lot of pregnant women, that's a great cue, okay? You're gonna hold that for about five seconds. You'll feel the tissue, that soft tissue under your fingers get a little bit firmer and then you know that you've got the right muscle involved, okay? You wanna do this on both sides of the body. So once you do about five reps, 
Again, holding for five seconds each. Then you're gonna flip over and do the same thing on the other side. Now you might find that one side is a little bit easier than the other one. That's not uncommon at all. It just means that we have to work on that one side a little bit more. Once again, we're going to come up to sitting just as we came down to, uh, down to lying down before, okay? This is so that we're not putting that undue stress into that rectus abdominis right here. Because this rectus abdominis has been strained in a way that is uh, not great for it at this time, while we have the uh, diastasis recti, we want to make sure not to be doing a lot of crunches or sit-ups or anything like that, okay? That doesn't mean that you won't be able to do them ever again. It just means that for the time being, we have to be a little cautious about doing those kinds of movements, which is why this getting in and out of bed uh, technique is really, really important. So just like before, you're gonna bring your legs forward and you're gonna push up sideways until you're all the way up to sitting. This allows you not to have to rely too much on that um, rectus abdominis, your classic six pack abs. And again, those are the ones that are affected by this diastasis recti. Please come and visit our website for any further questions and give us a call if you would like to schedule an appointment. Thanks very much, have a great day.